I was reminded recently about a story about a man by the name of Naaman who was in control of nearly every area of his life. He's a very powerful man. According to the text, he was the commander of the armies of the king of Syria. And the text goes on to say that he was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. And he was also a mighty man of valor. And that means he got what he wanted when he wanted it. He'd say jump and his men would say, well, how high? And he'd tell his armies to go and conquer some city, some nation, somewhere, and they would go and take it. But in the last part of verse 1, we see he came up against something that he had no control over. He had no control over his own body. He had this disease, not just any disease, but the horrible disease of leprosy. What was he going to do about that? Well, he couldn't do anything about it. In fact, in this story, he's going to learn a lot of lessons about humility and submission before God. And if you know the story, remember that he he finds out from a young servant girl that um, there's a man, there's a prophet in Israel that could heal him. And so he goes all the way there with his entourage And he's standing outside of Elisha, the prophet's house. And let's go ahead and begin there in verse 10. Let's read together. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored to you, and you shall be clean. But Naaman became furious and went away and said, Indeed, I said to myself, He will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over the place and heal the leprosy. Are not Abnar and Parfar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? And so he turned and went away in a rage. I have always been amazed by Naaman's response to Elisha here. He says, I thought. I thought Elisha would at least come outside, that he would call in the name of his God, wave his hands over, do some ritualistic thing. I thought the rivers back home were a lot cleaner than the dirty rivers of the Jordan. And see, that was the problem. He did a lot of thinking. He did too much thinking. And so he'd build up these grand expectations on his way there. And when he got there, they weren't met. And so now he's sulking. And so the truth is, sometimes we think too much too. I thought if God wanted to save man, then he would do it this way. And I thought if God wanted us to worship him, then he would want us to worship him that way. See, God says, you want me to heal you? Then go dip in the Jordan seven times. God, what's that got to do with healing me? Absolutely nothing. There's no power in the dirty rivers of the Jordan. There's no power in dipping. But what there was, there was a God who wanted to test the faith of the one who wanted needed to be healed. And he wanted to see if he was willing to give up control, to submit himself to the silly ritual that seems crazy in his in this man's head. See, the problem was God is God and Naaman is not. There's this parallel between what God asked Naaman to do here in the healing of his horrible disease and what God has asked us to do in the healing of our horrible, terrible disease of sin. What's the connection between us dipping and being baptized and the remission of our sins in the New Testament? I have no idea. I just know God commanded it. Jesus commanded it. The apostles commanded it through the spirits. But we can argue with God just like Naaman did. The question is, are we willing to give up our attempt to try to control everything in order to submit ourselves to the one who is in control? Despite Naaman fighting with God for some time with the reasoning of his servant, Naaman submitted and washed in the Jordan seven times and was cleansed from his leprosy. He even praised God for it. See, you can do that too. The truth is God is God and we are not. And the only thing we can do is respond to him. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and share it and follow for more studies just like that one.